So we're in Fresno, California. We just finished installing a new faucet for homeowner out here. Uh, this is directly from them, so we didn't buy the product. This is the Delta, and um, let's see if I can find you the model number right here. So it's the 9159T CZDST, and so you can get a hold of Delta, get your warranty going on this. is limited lifetime, so cartridges go bad, electronics go bad. You can get a hold of them and, and get replacement parts for free for the life of the faucet. So um, get that registered with them. All your leftover parts are in here. This was the old faucet that was installed. Um, open that. This was the old faucet that was installed here. And uh, all the documentation um, for the new faucet is in here as well. So hold on to this. That's the installation instructions. And um, <clears throat> this is the battery that came with the battery pack. The homeowner did purchase a AC adapter, so you don't have to keep changing batteries. So this is part of the assembly that goes with it here and the batteries. Old weight goes with the old faucet, and uh, this is the tool that mounts the new faucet. We're just going to keep everything in this box, so, uh, you know, if you don't know what's what, uh, just call me and, and, you know, send me a little picture or whatever, and I'll tell you what it goes to. But that's for mounting a new faucet and for uninstalling a new faucet. So you definitely, matter of fact, we'll set that over here on the counter next to the soap dispenser that doesn't work. So first thing, soap dispenser goes in, great, mounted, everything looks good. Uh, this is too tall. It's, I mean, it's the right size, but uh, you've got a, a tall loop underneath for the island sink, watch out. And uh, so there's a conflict. So that loop goes up and uh, I'll get in here and take a real picture real quick. The problem is where the soap holder goes, uh, the pipe's in the way. So you can see those two pipes over on the right side. I can't get over there. It's too tight. But um, So you need a shorter soap holder, unfortunately. Either that or it's cut out all this plumbing. Cut it, cut it, and reconfigure it. We can certainly do that, but not at the price we quoted. Um, so just all you need is like an inch um, shorter to get up in there. Uh, this is hogged out nice and good, the faucet. Um, and again, this side of the high loop right here is a conflict with the controller right here. That's the elect electronics that go with the faucet that, for the touch system. And, uh, it, you know, the hose comes down to the weight right there, and it all rides up against all this plumbing right here. And so, not real thrilled. It doesn't hang up, so that's good. No big deal there. But um, so the functionality is not great. It doesn't really retract. So when you pull this down... Um, hey, actually, it's working pretty good now. Yeah, look at that. Well, shut my mouth. Uh, so that's the way it works. Touch on and touch off, and that's good. So we'll leave that alone. Uh, faucet is uh, is mounted and pretty secure. They have a good mounting system from Delta. It's got a bracket and a couple stainless steel screws, so uh, it mounts real securely. Um, we use Delta, Kohler, Moen. These are top-of-the-line faucets here. And uh, so that's good. Soap dispenser, like I say, you'll have to get something just a little bit shorter than that so it'll mount up in there. I'm sure you can find something outside of paying us to come back and move all that plumbing. Um, that's something you can do. A little funnel to go with this. You know, you pop the cap off here, the soap dispenser, put that in there, and, and fill it full of your soap. That way it doesn't pour down and run over everything underneath the cabinet area. So that's it. That's the tool that goes with the faucet. Uh, that un uh, disassembles it from underneath. There's just uh, actually the two stainless steel screws, set screws, and then the one nut. Uh, loosen it up take it out so we're gonna leave that and everything else is in the box over there and uh, the old air gap you know it's not code now but you know old air gaps is sitting right here what was in this package and oh that, that is the electronic assembly so anyways outside of that this installation is done